Hey, Dave White with Quad City Safety. We keep getting asked, I want the most cut resistant thing that you have. Talking about gloves. Well, the problem most of the time is they say that, but they don't understand the fact that, yeah, an A2 to a, hell, an A4 can be fairly comfortable. They have a lot of different yarns out there that can hit those levels of cut resistance. But a lot of times when you get above that, you start introducing things like steel, stainless steel wire in the glove. Uh, other things that increase the cut resistance, but the comfort and the dexterity goes down. MCR, MCR safety. So I'm looking right here at a 92735NL. This is an A9. So when we look at the new cut standard that's recognized uh, in the United States, it goes from a one, which realistically means no cut, cut, resist, cut resistance, to a nine. This is a nine. It's fairly comfortable. It's got decent amount of dexterity given the fact that it is a nine. And it really kind of, when I first put it on, what got me was I was like, why is this fairly comfortable and a nine? Because if you look at here, and you actually look at the weave, you can actually see the steel or the wire that's in here that really gives it that cut resistance. Well, they've done a good job of putting a liner in here because a lot of the original cut resistant gloves that came out, they kind of felt prickly and they were never comfortable and they weren't, it wasn't something that you could wear all day. But they've lined this glove to where it's fairly comfortable. It does have a fairly beefy uh, nitrile palm on it, but let's face it, if you're wearing an A9, you're probably doing something where having an adequate uh, polymer on the palm is going to be good for you. Again, th reinforced thumb crotch, but again, if you're looking for something that's not going to bust your budget, you need something that's got as much cut resistance that you can get, and it's going to be something that you're going to be wearing for a while, this would be one that you want to take a look at.